It's now working with multi-step equations. When we're dealing with multi-step equations, you always want to remove the parentheses. So you're going to do the distributive property first. So again, if you see in a problem something that has a number on the outside of parentheses or parentheses in the problem, you want to do the distributive property. And that is when you take the number on the outside of the parentheses and multiply it to everything inside. And that will remove the parentheses. Next, you want to do combine like terms. So if you see in an equation, and again, like terms will be on the same side of the equal sign. If you see an equation that has multiple variables or multiple same variables, you want to get them together first before you do any moving. So in this case, you would get the 2x plus the 7x together. You would end up with 9x before you would move to the next step. If you see variables on opposite sides of the equal sign, you will need to move them together. And again, whenever you do a movement in an equation, you have to do the opposite to move from one side of the equal sign to the other. So that's very important to remember. Once you've done the, the first three steps, you've gotten your equation to either a one or a two step equation. So again, once you've done the first three steps, you'll have it to a two-step equation. And two-step is get rid of the plus or minus first and then deal with what's attached. So again, it's undo the addition or subtraction and then do the multiplication or division. So when you have a multi-step equation, stay in order of the way that you should solve the equation. Distributive property if you have parentheses. Combine like terms if you have multiple variables on one side of the equal sign. If variables are on opposite sides of the equal sign, you're going to move. And when you move, you do the opposite sign to move. And then you'll end up with a two-step or one-step equation. You'll undo the addition or subtraction. So here we have an example. Now again, we see we have multiple variables or same variables or like terms. And I need to, and they're like terms because they're on the same side of the equal sign. So because they're on the same sign, I simply combine like terms. I see here I have positive 2x minus 7x. Different signs mean I'm going to subtract and keep the sign of the higher number. So I end up with a negative 5x. And I just simply bring down the plus 3 equals 8. Now that I combine like terms, I see I end up with the two-step equation. Two-step means I get rid of the plus or minus first. In this case, I'm subtracting 3 from both sides. And then I'll deal with what's attached. And I have a negative 5x. I need to divide both sides by a negative 5. And I end up with my solution, x equals a negative 1. Pause and try. And again, the variables on the right-hand side, I have combined like terms. In this case, I have same sign, so I'm going to add and keep the sign. So I end up with a negative 10x. And now I'm going to move that 6. That 6 is positive. To move it, I need to subtract it from both sides. And I'm left with negative 10x. So I need to divide both sides by negative 10, and I get my solution here, x equals a negative 3. Now we see the distributive property. And again, do the distributive property and then solve the equation. So in this case, I distribute, and I'm distributing that 3 to everything inside that parentheses. Make sure you check your multiplication at this point. 3 times 2 is 6, so it's 6x. 3 times 6 is 18, so it's minus 18. Now that I check my distributive property, I'm going to do the two-step equation. I have to add the 18 to both sides, and now I'll deal with what's attached by dividing both sides by 6, and I get my solution. x equals 2. Now be careful when you have distributive property in an equation and you have a negative attached. You want to make sure that when you do that distributive property, you multiply correctly. 
Again, a negative 2 times a positive 3 will give me minus 6 or a negative 6. Negative 2 times a minus x will change that to a plus 2x. So be careful with your distributive property and negative signs. Now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to remove that negative 6 by adding it to both sides. And now I can deal with what's attached. And 2x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I get my solution. So my x value is equal to 5. Pause and try. Again, you want to make sure you do the distributive property correctly. Negative 5 times positive 3 gives me a negative 15x. Negative times a minus 1 will give me a plus 5x. And now I'll do the two-step equation, subtract 5 from both sides, and now I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 15, and I get my solution, x equals a negative 2. Now you're going to see I have distributive property and multiple variables on the same side, multiple same variables on the same side of the equal sign. So in the order that you need to go in is first do the distributive property. Whenever there's parentheses, you want to do the distributive property first. So I distribute and always double check that you multiply correctly. This is where normal if errors are made at this step. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2 is 8. So I end up just bringing down the plus 2x equals 40. Now I want to combine like terms. So you can't combine like terms until the distributive property is done. So I'm going to combine that 4x plus 2x, and I end up with 6x. I'm bringing down the minus 8 equals 40, and now I have a two-step equation. So I'll add the 8 to both sides, and then I'll get rid of the 6 by dividing both sides by 6 and get my solution. So in this case, my x value equals 8. Pause and try. So again, double check your distributive property. 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times 1 is 5. And then bring down the minus 3x equals a negative 3. Combine like terms here. 5x minus 3x. So now this is the case where you have to be careful. I'm looking here and I see I have the same variable, but they're on different sides of the equal sign. Whenever they're on different sides of the equal sign, you can't just simply combine. You need to move. And whenever you move, you have to do the opposite. It doesn't matter which direction you move in. It just matters that you get it to one side of the equal sign. So in this case, I'm choosing to move the 3x over to the 2x. And because it's minus 3x, the opposite would be add 3x. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides of the equal sign so that I get my variable on one side of the equal sign. So I'm left with 5x minus 2 equals 3. Now I have my two-step equation. So I'm going to add that 2 first, and then I'll deal with what's attached and I'm going to divide both sides by that 5, and I get my solution here is x equals 1. Pause and try. Again, it doesn't matter which side you choose to move to. I chose to move to the left. I added 6x to both sides. I'm left with 11 plus 4x equals 7. I'm going to subtract that 11 from both sides, and I'm going to be left with 4x equals negative 4. And I divide through by 4, and I get my solution is x equals a negative 1. Now you're going to see I have the distributive property, and I have variable on opposite side of the equal sign. So the first thing, again, multi-step equations, you want to do the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply that 2 to everything inside of the parentheses. So I end up with 24 minus 4x. Always double check your multiplication on this. And it's going to equal that 8x. Now I want you to notice here that 8x is already by itself on one side of the equal sign. So I want to move to that side. If I move the 8x over to the other side of the equal sign, 
I might forget to put a zero there and not have the right solution. So if you already have the variable on one side of the equal sign, move to that side. So I want to move that negative 4 to the 8x. And again, movement means I need to do the opposite. Because it's minus 4x, I need to add 4x to both sides. When I add 4x to both sides, I'm left with 24 equals 12x. Now I have a one-step equation. All I need to do here is to get rid of that 12 by dividing both sides by 12. And I get my solution here is x equals 2. Pause and try. Again, double check your distributive property. You get 6x minus 9 equals 9x. And I want to move to the 9x side because x is already by itself on that side. I subtract 6x over. I'm left with 9x equals 3x. And now I'll divide through by 3. And I get my solution, x equals a negative 3. Pause and try. Again, you want to do the distributive property. 14 minus 7x, always double check that you distribute it correctly, equals 26 minus 3x. Doesn't matter which side you choose to move, but you need to get the variables together first. And because you're moving, you're doing the opposite. I chose to move the 3x over to the 7x. Be careful with this, though, because when you have a negative 7 plus 3, you're still going to be left with a negative 4 or a minus 4x. And then I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides, and then I'll deal with what's attached by dividing. So I divide both sides by a negative 4, and I get my solution here will equal negative 3.